Hi, this is Zach Mira, editor of Spreadbet magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Thursday, August the 14th. I'm starting off with uh, Gulf Keystone, with everyone's favourite uh, oil and gas explorer. Uh, currently, sort of difficult situation, even more difficult than usual, in the sense that uh, we've seen the shares being uh, un unable to break back above the 10-day moving average at 74 pence, two-day failure there uh, in the last uh, couple of sessions, and also failure there right really since the uh, middle of July. So normally when you see a stock or market unable to get just back above even the 10 day moving average, uh, not a good sign. Uh, the current uh, support zone is towards 60 pence, which is a, uh, a line from March, which, which is good news. And there's also uh, a line of support uh, really through the oversold band uh, in the oscillator window as well, the RSI currently around the oversold 30 level. So best strategy here probably is to assume a range between 60 and 74 pence where the 10-day uh, moving average is. But really at this stage, a uh, minimum 10-day moving average uh, uh, daily close above that level uh, to give us a proper momentum uh, signal and a chance of getting back up to the, say, the uh, 80 to 90 pence resistance zone of uh, uh, July. What we would not like to see here, obviously, is an end-of-day close back below 60, although you can buy weakness uh, down to that level in the interim. Another difficult position uh, here is uh, from Rare Earth Minerals. Uh, we had uh, the decent uh, push up to the um, 2 pence zone again for July double top. Actually, a bull trap uh, uh, double top in July through the 2 pence level. Uh, the question since then is how far the shares have come back. Uh, would come back uh, in uh, before uh, any resumption of the uptrend or the uh, uh, the bull run here that we've seen towards uh, uh, a notional 2.5 pence level. Uh, at the moment, the favoured area is around uh, current levels down to the 50-day moving average of 1.34 pence. That would be a decent end-of-day close stop loss on the uh, buy argument, especially as uh, we've seen the initial RSI uh, support line break from April. Uh, which gives uh, the chart a bit of a negative slant. Uh, if you are cautious, uh, like myself, you'll probably be waiting for an end-of-day close back above the 20-day moving average at 1.67 pence uh, before going long again. That would be a decent momentum signal. Uh, as you can see, in July, there was also a rebound off the 20-day line, which triggered the move from around uh, 1.2 pence to uh, 2 pence itself. So that 20-day moving average looks like a decent trading trigger. Uh, and as I said earlier, the, um, above the 20-day moving average, you have the hint of a 2.5 pence uh, target uh, over the next uh, few weeks following the, or the, over the, in the weeks following uh, such a uh, signal. Finishing off with the UK oil and gas, and um, here we have uh, a situation which has played out reasonably uh, well according to technical rules. The peak in June was 0.93 pence, and that's become uh, roughly the support area now. It's uh, the stock is held by the 50-day uh, moving average at 0 0.98 pence, and also uh, by a, uh, a rising trend channel that you can draw uh, through the same zone. So basically, at the moment, uh, we're looking for a new leg to the upside. Maybe with the odd full start as there was uh, yesterday, uh, some resistance coming in through uh, the 1.2 uh, pence level. So if you're cautious, maybe wait for an end of day close above 1.2 pence. Otherwise. Any dips towards the 50-day moving average at 0 0.98 pence uh, can be regarded as buying opportunities. The overall target here, 1.82 pence uh, at the top of this channel here. Uh, if you're a sort of early bird trader and if you do really like the stock, you would take note that uh, the RSI has climbed back above the neutral 50 level to 55. So that does suggest that uh, a breakout uh, or a new leg to the upside is imminent. That's it from me. More updates on spreadbetmagazine.com.